Well, before I officially unveil this plate, I would like to formally thank everyone who actually takes time out to be here today to witness this exciting moment. It's a moment of joys and hopes, and it certainly is more colorful and meaningful with your presence. I had a wonderful student life here in Churchill College of Cambridge. I'm a deep believer of education. Education plays absolutely a vital role in one's life. But education is not a matter of uh, how many years you spend in school. It's not a matter of how prestigious your university actually is in the world. It's a matter of capability of learning. It's a matter of the curiosity for life, the courage when facing the unknown, the resilience when challenged by adversity in life. Life is not always easy. It's not always rainbows and butterflies. Having that said, we can always enjoy a piece of garden, a space where you can connect or reconnect with the nature, with your innate energy, with your gifted imagination. That is why I'm truly proud to have this wonderful garden in my beloved alma mater, Churchill College of Cambridge. And I would like to thank Master Athena for her constant support for this project. I'd like to thank our bursar who's not here today for her tremendous help and Fran and her team for their diligent work and of course our head gardener John, the uh, representative of the beauty of Churchill College, Dr. Yuan. He's in uh, Tokyo I believe for a conference but he has always been an important mentor since my college year and also Jacobo on uh, his uh, advice and help on different fronts in all these years. Before I conclude my speech, I'd like to touch upon the beautiful stones in the garden. They flew over from my home city, Chongqing. We can see the stone in the centerpiece. Her name is Reading Gao, because it symbolizes a girl reading. I don't know if you can uh, sort of uh, relate. It's a girl with a big sleeved dress and the hair all tied up. Because girls' education is so important that it determines the quality of a family, of a nation, of a society. But this piece of stone, when I look at her, the uniqueness of the stone is a girl reading, but in an elegant and typical girly style. I know it's a trend to talk about gender equality, but I always say that gender equality is not gender similarity. The elegance, the sweetness, the cuteness that women stand for should always be preserved and kept because it's as if a garden in life. It's all sweet and fresh and indispensable. And we have another store over there. It's called Screen. On the screen, one can see through the future with the modern technology. One can also see the history because it's always there, witnessing what is happening around. And on the screen, one can always reflect him or herself from where you see the world. Beside the screen, the stone from my home city, there is an apple tree Master and I planted together three years ago. Seeing them all together, I'm truly grateful for the fact that horticulture, an art of a beauty that can actually bond all of us together. And by us, I mean everyone who craves for peace, for beauty, for love. Thank you. So, here we go. One, two, three. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and, and I can say a few words about this uh, calligraphy. And I'm uh, very lucky that uh, with this uh, piece of uh, beautiful project, we got a lot of help from uh, friends here and not here. And I'll remember that. And uh, we will keep working on this uh, beautiful project. And hopefully, we'll benefit the more and more students that are to come. Thank you. Thank you.